right, this is our video about osmosis. That's the passive movement of water. What we've done is take a potato and core out some samples so we get a little potato strip. We're going to place one potato strip in a test tube labeled one. That's fresh water. We're going to place another potato strip in tube two. That's salt water. And if you notice, the potato strip is submerged underneath the water. They soak in this environment for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then we're interested in what has happened to those potato strips relative to the movement of water. And I've gone ahead and prepared. When we pull those potato strips out of the tubes, there's potato strip number one, and there's potato strip number two. What we're interested in is their texture. So we pick up the one from tube number one, and we try to bend it a little bit, we roll it around. This is tactile, we're touching it, we're squishing it a little bit, and it's kind of stiff. We compare that in picking up the tube from the salt water, and we see that it right away is very flexible, it's soft, it's squishy. And then the question becomes, why is this one relatively stiff, whereas this one is relatively soft? And that has to do with the movement of water, that has to do with osmosis. In the fresh water, the fresh water provides a hypotonic environment, and water will enter the cells. And as it enters the cells, the cells swell and push against each other and makes the column of cells very stiff. However, in salt water, the salt is the solute that provides a hypertonic environment. And in a hypertonic environment, cells are gonna lose water. And as they lose water, the cells kind of shrink down on each other and give us a very limp and soft potato strip.